Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. Welcome to another wonderful day of learning at E Rivers Elementary School. Let's listen and join in as a few of our loyal lions present us with the Pledge of Allegiance in English and Spanish. Hi, my name is Ariana Flowers from Ms. Shell's fifth grade homeroom, and I will be saying the Pledge of Allegiance in English. Everyone, please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day. Hola and hi, I'm Ivy. I'm in fourth grade DLI, Miss Moore's homeroom. Hola, and I'm Juliana, and I'm in first grade, Miss Ordu's is class. We will be saying the Pledge of Allegiance in Espanol. <laughs> Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América, y a la república de representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Bye. Bye! Have a great day! Thank you. Well, boys and girls, <laughs> you know, I have just really been loving our quotes, um, loving everything about our SEL book, I Am Every Good Thing. And so if you see, um, I want you to take a look at the quote that we have, and it just says, I am. I want you to think about yourself as a student. I want you to reflect on how you are doing with getting up and getting dressed in the morning. Um, are we paying attention, turning in all of our assignments? I want you to make sure you spend the rest of the week moving in the right direction with learning. All right, I want you to also, let's do a little bit of square breathing. Will we breathe in for four, hold, breathe out for four, hold. Okay, we're gonna start that this morning for this oh, terrific Tuesday. All right, let's go, breathe in. Breathe in. Good job, good job. An important part of self-management is using coping strategies to manage stress and overcome challenges. Learning, learning can be very challenging. And today I want you to think about taking a deep breath and being brave enough to ask questions and learn something challenging. Well, without further ado, this is my little famous box. <laughs> and um, this will be outside of the Media Center again today um, for another trivia. But let's get started with a few of our winners. Check it out, check it out. Let's see. So this is from Hunter Simon Schumann. The question that I would ask Derek Barnes is, was that you as a little kid? I think we all want to know the answer to that question. Um, and in fact, Derek Barnes says that that was a kind of a representative of him as a child. He felt that when people saw him, they saw one thing and that was absolutely not true or not who he was and that he um, wanted to really in some kind of way bring an awareness to how we think about seeing folks, right? We have, we make a lot of assumptions and we should always give everyone the benefit of, benefit of the doubt of who they may be, right? What we are transcends what other people may think. All right, let's get another one. All right, this one says, <laughs> Kennedy 
Walker. In your books, why don't the people have names? <laughs> I love that, Kennedy Walker. I wonder if by not naming the characters in his book that we can better see ourselves in those characters? I don't know. That's a good question. Like I said, I'm going to link a um, an interview that Derek Barnes did with their teacher. I don't really understand that one. Let's get one of these other ones on a post-it. Ooh, this is Maya. Maya Stormanick. She wanted to know, she wanted to ask Derek Barnes, how did you have a boy as your main character and not a girl? Good question, Maya, right? Because girls rock. And I think, you know, I don't, and I said this at the beginning, I don't want you guys or any of us to really fixate or focus on the fact that it was a little boy or it was an African-American little boy or anything like that because it is representative of all of us. All of us can say that we are, or each one of us can say that I am every good thing. I am not what the world may see in me or see of me, but I determine what I am. I am smart. I am intelligent. I am kind. I am loved. I am worthy. I am a friend. Right. Um, and so we can look at the character and I am every good thing. And while we may not look like him or maybe we do, we might not be a boy or maybe we are. We can see ourselves in that character. Um, and so I hope that you guys enjoyed. <laughs> and we have one more question. Let's see what that question is. All right, this is a good one. I actually have two questions. So the first one, what is something you love about yourself? What is something you love about yourself? And why is it important to love yourself? Can't wait to hear those here or can't wait to read those responses. And so I need for Maya Stemenik, Kennedy Walker, and Hunter Simon Schumann to come down and collect your prize. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for the morning announcements. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you, seeing you in your community gatherings or in your classrooms.